Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. I'm doing a quick um, one card reading for all signs. It's gonna include a fairy card, one card from this deck, and a spiritual advice card, okay? So let's start with Capricorn, your one card reading. Let's see what falls out for Capricorn. Let's see, we just need one card. Death, all right. And your fairy card, Capricorn. Two cards fell. You got twenty nine and nine. So the first card you got was death, and that's breaking away from something, ending something, completing something no longer that you can have in your life. It's in the end of something and the beginning of something new. As you can see, death is here, but you see a white horse in the back, you see the light in the back, you see a bird in the back of death. So this is the ending of something only to begin something new, okay? And then you got number nine in the fairy cards is love getting love or being young and doing everything young and with love and you see the flowers here and let's read what nine is in a fairy is a bouquet a gift appreciation so a bouquet a gift and appreciation a sign of love from someone or something then we got 29 really grounding to earth taking time for yourself and knowing that you are intuitive and gifted in whatever process you're going through at this moment and just again ending something for something greater and better to come in okay your spiritual advice card is hello from heaven and it says here your loved ones in the spirit world want to connect with you as much as you want to connect with them as much as you want to connect with them they know you've been thinking of them and they are sending you signs and symbols to show you how much they love you to prove they're with you all the time okay so the ending of something to begin something better you got love coming towards you you got hope and grounding in your intuition and you got your being guided that message was for Capricorn let's do the next sign is Aquarius for the sign of Aquarius, Aquarius messages for the sign of Aquarius we got one card already three of swords your fairy card message Aquarius got too many fairy cards we're gonna reshuffle them One card for Aquarius. Moving on. And your spiritual advice card. And start again. Listen. Okay, Aquarius, so there's a three of swords moment. You're feeling down. Something is going on in your life where you're feeling hurt, okay? And what advice you're getting from the fairies is to move on from this hurt, okay? I get the sign three here. It could be um, like you're in a relationship that there's a third party involved and you're finding out about it. Spirit wants you to move on from this. You're going to move on from this heartbreak. And it says here, listen as your spiritual advice. Let's read what it says. It says, listen, you have to be willing to listen if you want to really understand someone. Now is not the time to be offering advice, but to be a compassionate listener. To listen fully and intently means to pay attention. Not to just what's being said, but to what lies beneath the words. Okay, so either you're moving on for something or hurt about something or feeling in the darkness about something. Okay, you're not sure about. And you're moving on from this. You're moving on from this. And listen, you're being guided. That was for Aquarius. Next sign up is Sagittarius. Let's get one card for Sagittarius. Okay, one card there. King of Cups. Your fairy message for the King of Cups is... 
you're gonna get one this one right here love and your spiritual message is you are not alone okay so there's a cup being offered here I'm not sure if it's from you or from another person but there is a cup of love being offered okay and this person has thought about this person or really thought about making this offer there's a white piece dove here there's a cup filled with emotions and love there is something in his pocket and he is feeling loved and he's feeling love for someone else okay this could be towards you or you towards another person this has to deal with a relationship and there is love there okay um so you're going to move into the area of love then you have you are not alone as your spirit card and it says here we are here for you we never left Though through all the sadness and loneliness, however, you cannot we they have never left through all your sadness and loneliness. It says you cannot sense us near you or feel how much love we are sending you. We are your family, friends, and guides. You never walk alone. We walk right beside you. Beautiful message and love coming in. Relationship. Maybe you're going into a relationship. Okay, next is Pisces. Messages for Pisces. One card message for Pisces. Here we go. First card out. King of Wands coming in with a message. King of Wands with his fiery romantic energy. Fairy message for Pisces. Fairy message for Pisces. Gotta look normal here sometimes. <laughs> this is for the rest of April. There we go. We got two fairy messages. Is five. Having the balance you need. Holding on to the strength you have. Going on an adventure. 34. Okay. So you got here King of Wands coming in. Fiery energy offering you some type of passion. Okay. Then we have you grounding yourself. You're feeling the strength um, to go through with this passion, maybe. And then you have 34, a new adventure. And you see two people here taking this new adventure, okay? So that's your message for the rest of April. And let's see Pisces for your spiritual advice card. Too many. We just want one. <laughs> one spiritual advice card. Oh, one for spiritual advice card is in the ground there. Fell <laughs> down on the ground. Let's see what it is. Um, okay. It is nature, grounding yourself to nature. And it says here, this is a time to absorb the healing properties that nature has to offer you. Your mind, body, and soul need nourishment, energy, revitalization, revitalization, and strength. Nature has much to offer. So take this time to connect and spend some quality time outdoors. Okay, so beautiful. You got a fiery energy with lots of passion coming in. And you're going to take this journey. You're going to have the strength to take it and connect to nature. Ground yourself. That was for, who was that for? Pisces. Yep. Next is Scorpio. I got to check these off because I don't know where I'm at. So we're doing Scorpio now. Mm -hmm. Okay, what's the messages for Scorpio? I don't know if that was Scorpio, but I think it is. I see how many cards I have there. And this is for Scorpio, this message. Messages for Scorpio. Whoop. Too many. We're going to place them back. Can't take all of these. I'm not doing a full reading. Okay, let's see. Messages for Scorpio. Okay, one card came out. Ace of Swords, some truth coming out, something coming to the light. Which is going to help you make a decision. Let's see what the fairies have to tell you. Too many cards. We just want one card. Cards, we take them both 28 grounding yourself 
and seven playing with fire <laughs> okay and your spirit message is let me see oh you got too many they fell out on their own but we're not going to take those we only want one Go, oh, a whole bunch. Oh boy. Let's try again. Okay. We'll take one. Astro wisdom. Okay, so you got the ace of swords. So here's some information or something is coming out that you're gonna cut out, or you're gonna make a decision about something, okay? Being grounded, being led um, by your intuition is 28, really grounding yourself and getting your power to make that decision, okay? And then we have seven, and we see someone here mesmerizing the snake. So let's see what that message is. Number seven is deception, deceit, lies, distrust, danger. So be careful here. There's some information coming out. Be careful what you're doing. I know ground yourself before you make this decision because there's some type of deceit here, okay? So that was for Scorpio. Let's see what your spiritual message is. Ancestor wisdom. We are your ancestors and we love you. We walked the earth many years before you. We ask you at this poignant time to learn and grow from our past experiences you are our legacy and we will help we will keep on helping you as we continue to evolve here in the spirit world so getting guidance from your ancestors scorpio next is libra let's do libra very quickly i'm not taking reversals any cards that come out reverse i'm reading them straight Okay, one card for Libra, please. There we go. Let's see what the card is. Page of Wands. Fiery energy. Passionate. With information. Okay, let's see. This is saying that it's not charging, but it is on charge. Oops, hold on. Let me charge my phone because... If not, we're going to lose it. I still have Libra's message here. Okay, here we go. Let's get one message from the fairies for Libra. Okay, we got one message for Libra. We got 19 here. See home. And then let's get your spiritual message, Libra. Spiritual message for Libra, please. Okay, we got two. We're only gonna take one, and the first one I see is vulnerability. So that's the one we're gonna take. Okay, Libra, you got a message, a passionate message coming in. You got the page of wands here. This is someone coming in, maybe with an offer of some kind. It can be an offer of passion, of love, okay? Um, so just know that it's a passionate new beginning, a passionate new message of some kind, fiery, it's fast moving, all right? So this is for Libra. You got the 19 in the fairy cards, and I see a home here amongst the mountains and amongst the greenery and two fairies here. Let's see what 19 is. 19 means institutions, government, authority, border, separation. So maybe this fiery message that you're getting is gonna cause a separation of some kind. Maybe this fiery message is, message is to um, for you to walk away from one situation and go to another, okay? So just making sure that you're getting some type of information coming to you. It's a fast moving, fast approaching, could be heated information, it can be passionate information, okay? And then we have vulnerability as your spiritual oracle card. And it says, this is confirmation that you're seeking to tread into the unknown, unfamiliar territory. Where decisions are based more on intuition than rationality. Don't let fear hold you back or allow a misguided sense that feeling vulnerable is somehow a negative condition. So really opening up to your vulnerability, no matter what situation you're led into. This is your message for the rest of April. Libra. Now we're going to Virgo. Tapping it off as I go. Messages for Virgo. One card came out. 
Nine of Cups. Yes. Feeling love. Feeling beautiful. Feeling guided. Um, feeling more into yourself and waiting for that Ten of Cups. So you're feeling good to yourself, okay? Bringing that wonderful feeling to yourself. Let's see what's the fairy message for you. We got two fairy messages, 36 and 17. Let's read what they are. 36, we see someone contemplating about something or thinking about something. And we see 17, like the family being grounded within the family. And your message, your spirit message before we go into that is, let's see what your spirit message is. This is for Virgo. Okay, embrace the moment. So we know we fe you're feeling abundant, you're feeling wonderful within yourself, you're feeling care, you're taking good care of yourself, you're letting yourself feel loved, and you're looking at all these wonderful cups that you have in front of you. Okay, so you see, I see you at peace. Here at the fairy, it's almost like you're contemplating and thinking. Here you're contemplating and thinking too, but you still feel at peace, okay? Um, so 36 for the fairy means... The cross, you're thinking, um, maybe thinking about burdens and suffering and trouble, but also thinking about how to move forward. Okay, so here you go. There may be some burdens, but you're still feeling peace within yourself. So whatever decision you make, you're going to come out, you're going to be fine because you are at peace with yourself and you're taking that time to look at every situation and you're feeling balanced within yourself. Then you got number 17. Let's see what's the message there. 17 means... Return, delivery, birth. So after thinking about things, maybe you're going to come into something new or decide on something new, okay? Um, and you're going to take this all from a grounded feeling of peace. You're going to do all this. You know what that you have everything you need within your reach, okay? Then you have for your spiritual message is embrace the moment. Embrace this day, okay? This very moment. Think positively today and repel those negative thoughts. Try not to judge yourself or others. This may be harder than you think. What is actually happening is that you're changing your energy. Very good. So changing your energy to maintain that peace. Knowing that there's maybe burdens and obstacles, but you're still going to maintain your peace because you're letting go of negativity. And just moving forward with in, in any direction that you feel like, okay? And embracing the moment. That was for Virgo. Now we're going to do Leo. Too many cards. Put it back. Messages for Leo. Okay, here we go. We got a card for Leo. Judgment. one <laughs> okay there goes one card um moving forward in your oracle spiritual message card for the rest of april So you got a judgment coming in or something coming in from universe righting a wrong and moving forward, okay? You're going to be moving forward after this judgment is made in the right direction. It's telling you to have, spirit is telling you to have gratitude. I will read that card in a second, but let's find out what the card one is. In the fairy cards, we know judgment is something has come to a conclusion. Something is going to be made right or a balancing of something, okay? So one for the fairies is... News, information, innovative, surprise. So some type of surprise, some type of news, 
and moving forward. This here to me means like moving forward and here is a judgment that was made or a balancing or something and your spiritual card is gratitude. It says life is one big continuous circle of giving and receiving energy. Be thankful for who and what's in your life instead of complaining about what you don't have. If you focus on gratitude, you'll start to attract prosperity and abundance. Very good. That was for Leo. Next is Cancer. Let's see what's the message for Cancer. I'm going to take this off. I'm going to just shuffle this once. Okay, one card for Cancer. Okay, one card fell out. Two of Cups. Fairy message. One card for Cancer for Fairy message. taking longer than I think. Nope, there it goes. All right. Eight. Infinity sign goes around and around and around. Let's see what your guidance is. We got one. Eight. We got receive a gift. Okay, first, Cancer, your focus is a union or a relationship. And we can see that there's two cups here. So that is the main focus, is a relationship. Eight is about reviving something from the past or going back to a past relationship or going back to look at a past relationship or reviving it more like it because even though you see the tomb here, it doesn't mean death. It's just reviving of some past relationship. Then you have received your kind and loving soul who constantly reaches out and gives to others. But now it's time for you to learn to graciously receive. Just as with the ebb and flow of the tides, the art of giving and receiving is the natural law and order of the universe, okay? And for your fairy card, in regards to relationships, you got the card number eight, which is end, stop, completion, okay? It's the coffin, but for me, when I look at this, this end, start a relationship of this coffin, of this relationship, okay? It could be an end it could be a stop or it could be a start or completion of some relationship you were in okay so it could be that for my guidance what i'm getting for spirit is cancer is that you have or have a relationship or you're thinking about a relationship in the past it might have been completed you might go back to look at it also or you might decide to move forward it depends each situation is different this is only a two card reading so we're not getting much but we know the focus is something in the past and maybe completing it okay and I read your, or your oracle, receiving gifts. Okay, that was for cancer. Let's do Gemini now. Gemini. Let's see what's for Gemini. One card for Gemini, please. Okay, we got two cards. We got Ten of Swords, Three of Cups. Now, when I get these two cards together, I'm thinking this has to do with a relationship or friendship or partnership. So something in regards to the relationship, friendship or partnership, you're feeling stuck, you're feeling aggravated, and you're not happy with the situation. So, but this is usually your own emotions making you feel stuck because you don't have to feel stuck to anything that you're not happy about, okay? You can move on. Let's see what your fairy message is for this. Fairy message for Gemini. Fairy message for Gemini. Fairy message for Gemini. Ooh, we got too many that fell out. I'm only taking the one that's upright. And you got the number 10 here, okay? So let's see what it says. It's almost like you're gonna cut something out, move something away, 
Um, it says cutting, clearing, doing away with, harvesting. That's exactly what I see here. So something that is bringing you emotional turmoil, you're going to harvest or take away. And your spiritual card is, this is for Gemini. Okay, one came out. Oops, we're not taking that one, but we're taking the one that fell out first. A child's love. It says, the love between a parent and a child is one of the most precious and deep connections we make during our time on earth. Children start out as part of us, and from their first cries, they establish themselves as the biggest part of our hearts. Beautiful. So that was for Gemini for the rest of April. Okay, now we're doing Taurus for the rest of April. Let's see what's the message for Taurus for the rest of April. One card, please. You got the fool. Your fairy message is. We only need one fairy message. Let's do this again. that big mountain there and then your spiritual message card is Taurus Okay, the fool, you're moving into a new adventure, going um, with your own advice, going into something new. I'm not sure what it is. Could be a relationship, could be a job, could be heading in a new direction because that's what the fool does, okay? And then you have 21 for the fairy. We see someone heading in a certain direction also, and that says 21 is obstacles, bones, diversion. So, okay, there may be obstacles and, along your journey, but you're still heading to that new direction. So you're taking a new direction, you're heading somewhere new, you're taking the leap of faith, and there may be obstacles, but who says you can't overcome them? And then you have love as your spiritual message. It says, love is the foundation of your existence. You're just as worthy of receiving as you are of giving love and compassion. While love can be a beautiful emotion, it is equally a form of energy that propels you through life. Wonderful message for Taurus. Now let's do Aries, the last but not least. Aries. Okay, let's shuffle once. Okay, Aries. One card for Aries, please. Okay, we got two cards. We got King of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles. And your fairy message is one card for Aries. A ring. Nice. And your spiritual message is light. So we see here you got the King of Pentacles looking at his treasure test, maybe coming into you or giving you some information, or maybe wanting to join or um, be connected to you could be could be some message of love but I think it's more to do with money but there is a rose here so whoever this is they're really their attention is basically on their abundance okay um, again there's more abundance here coming in for pentacles is feeling at peace but there's a key here like they're locking away their abundance okay then you have the number 25 which is the fairy ring it could be due to a commitment this cards are coming up maybe the person in this commitment or wh who you are in a commitment is working a lot and focusing on their abundance or maybe you are focusing on your abundance and for fairy cards let's read number 25 it says contract marriage agreement oath or commitment see that's what I figured then you have um, light as your spiritual message. It says, imagine yourself as being composed of energy and light because in reality, that's precise, precise, precisely, precisely, I don't ever say it right, 
precisely what you are. You are a powerful being and people are attracted to your brilliance. This is time to remember how vibrant you truly are. So thanks for listening. This was a quick one-two card reading for all the zodiac signs for the rest of April. Thank you. Bye-bye.